just talking about recovery and recrystallization, which is also known as annealing. So, what it is, it relates to cold working of metals, or cold worked metals. Recovery and recrystallization means forming a non cold worked structure, recrystallizing into the crystal lattice the metal wants to be in. I thought I'd recorded this, but I clearly hadn't, so I'm doing it again. Recrystallization temp is a key point relating to annealing and cold work. At a certain temperature, the atoms in a metal have got enough energy to spontaneously move and to spontaneously restore themselves to their equilibrium position. It might be face-centered cubic, might be body-centered cubic, might be hexagonal close-packed. But at a certain temperature, the atom has enough energy to move. Technically, it depends on the amount of prior work and how much they were deformed and the original grain size but it's approximately 40% of the absolute temperature of melting. What it relates to in practical terms, iron about 350 to 400 degrees recrystallizes. Above 400 degrees, the atoms in iron restore themselves to equilibrium and work hardening no longer exists. In aluminium, at about 150 degrees, the atoms in aluminium restore themselves to equilibrium position and work hardening no longer occurs. In lead, which is used commonly in houses to seal between brickwork and roofs, lead has a recrystallization temperature of minus 20 degrees. At room temperature, you are hot working it, not cold working it. So please be aware that recrystallization temperature is material specific and it's also the point at which the atoms restore themselves to the soft initial stage. They basically self-anneal.